Hi, I'm Denise. I'm here to share the learning modules for August week three. Keep in mind, August is before the song list actually starts. So these are extra songs, extra activities for those who start school in August. There's many people who don't start till after Labor Day. So that's when the song sequence starts. I'm going to start with pre-K and pre-K week three. We're going to still start with our welcome, welcome song. That's going to be the welcome song for all of August. And reviewing the procedures with your littles. How do we make lineups? Where do you sit? How do we walk through the hall? There's a really cute song in kindergarten. Put your finger on your lip, on your lip. Put your hand on your hip, on your hip. Put your finger on your lip and your hand on your hip. Put your finger on your lip, on your lip. Zip, zip. That's a really good song for littles to learn how to walk down the hallway without pulling all the posters off that teachers have put up. Review the music room rules. They can't read. So you simply talk about these with them. All are welcome the storybook. If you have already done it, jump ahead. If you've already done So Me and the Spider, jump one more ahead and we'll do the listening walk. And this is a wonderful storybook for developing um, sensitivity to environmental sounds. And then hands on shoulders, a finger play to get kids following directions. It's always a good idea to play Simon Says with them after. Simon Says, put your hand on your head. Simon Says, tap your nose. Oh, you got caught because Simon didn't say. Keep the beat, a body percussion play along. Echo Bobo, Bobo's always lots of fun in our classrooms. The All About Me workshop is an option if you haven't done it already and you have lots of time and photocopying budget. Feel free to have the kids complete this. And then the roly poly, roly poly, up, up, up is to practice up, down, fast, slow, shh, quiet, and loud. And here's a demo of it. Wash, wash, wash your hands. A good review for kids. The alphabet song. We have Z for American schools. If we have any Canadian schools that are in year round schooling, they can do the Canadian ABCs. Here is a new little play along, and it's really, this one is particularly good to do with rhythm sticks. Um, I like this one. fun and then six little ducks if you haven't done it already and then we end with skin and marink so that is pre-k back to school week one remember you can freely use the pre-k modules with kindergarten students uh, we're going to be revising kindergarten and making some uh, updates to it this year so if you like the pre-k modules better by all means they work really well with four and five year olds so the kindergarten lesson we're going to see some similarities and we're going to see some other songs. So warm up with Bobo, move to the beat, sing our welcome song, listen to the story, all are welcome or skip ahead if you haven't, talk about procedures with your kindergarten students, discuss the rules with them. They need lots and lots of review and reinforcement. So if you've already done all are welcome, you could do So Me Goes Missing. If you're in your third week, jump ahead to the listening walk. And this is our name game for kindergarten. Johnny, 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 whoops, Johnny, whoops, Johnny, 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 Johnny. And then you go through the names of the kids in your class and you ask them if they want, if you want them to do, if they want you to do their name fast or slow. So a good way to review names, good way to review fast and slow. Here's a demo of me doing it with a group of three and four year olds. And we've got the John Jacobson song. I've got the beat down in my feet. And if they're getting really good at it, try JJ's movements along with him. And then we can practice some fruit rhythms. And Lana, our graphic designer, has made some rhythm cards that are specific to this particular activity. This one has apples and grapes. And so we have apples and grapes. So you could go apple, grapes, apple, grapes, apple, apple, grapes, grapes. <coughs> and have your students do word rhythms. Then transfer their word rhythms to either body percussion or to instruments. Sing the wash your hands song. They'll know that well by the end of August if they started really early. Here's the all about me sheet for kindergarten. If you have, again, time and photocopy budget, Twinkle Twinkle's always a nice one to end with. 
calms the kids before they go back to class. Now we're going to grade one, back to school week three. And I started with a really cute little animated body percussion. Each of these is gorgeous in and of itself. And the music is a little sounding. Warm up your voices with echo patterns and we get to echo the kitty in this one. We sing welcome, welcome. And if this is your first week of school, do the story, but all are welcome. If it's your second or third week, skip ahead to either So Me Meets the Boss or further down will be the listing walk. Go over procedures with your students. Go over the rules with your students. And this is a name game. Make me or a, make a circle chant. And then we're going to do the circle name game where you go, Denise. The next student goes, Rachel. Next student, Jason. Listen to the story, How to Be a Friend. This would be your other option if you've already done the first two. And there's a new song by John Jacobson, New Friends. This is in the musical Bunnies without the dialogue from the Bunnies musical. It's very, very pretty, very easy for the kids to learn. And there's the words, new friends aren't so hard to take new friends aren't so hard to make and making new friends is an important part of going back to school we want our kids to be friendly with everyone we've got what shall we do when we all go out there are lots of extensions for this song so if you are in your third week of school go to the little arrow up here go to the song and check out some of the extensions for example illustrated mini book text only mini book. The text only has the words of the song written out and the kids provide each of the illustrations. This one is going to take less time because there's some illustrations already in and all the students have to do is to create an illustration for the cover. Um, that is actually the wrong mini book there. Let's see if the text only, oh, this linked to the wrong song. Okay, so we'll ha I'll have to check that after. I'll make a little note for self to check that song. Make sure that it's, I've got the right code in the back end. And then we end with the music time is over. That's grade one, week three of August. Here is grade two for the third week of August. And I've added a new beat activity. This is to Grand Old Flag. If you don't have red, white, and blue plates, do it with your hands. It works equally well. It's just, if you're going to perform it, it's going to be more colorful if you add the plates to it. But for learning it, you can certainly learn, learn it with just the hands. This is a new play along video, and it suggested that you decide how to clap and pat with it. I would often get the kids to do one slide clapping, next slide patting or one line clapping, bottom line padding. We've got the lovely Maya demonstrating some solfa patterns, and this is in the key of C, so it's in the same key as the song Welcome, Welcome. So if they know enough solfa and enough rhythms to be able to echo successfully, maybe they can read the rhythms and the solfa in the Welcome song. And the story All Are Welcome, if you've already done it in weeks one or two of August, jump ahead. Uh, or extend and add the ORF arrangement. There's an alternate story. So Somio and Romeo is an alternate story. And the third alternate story for the third week of August, if this is your third week, is the listening walk where the kids would become more aware of environmental sounds. Review procedures or teach them if this is your first week with students. Again, teach or review the music room rules. And then we have this very cute little song with four languages, the Say Hello song by John Jacobson. And it's all about making friends. And that's what I'm all about at the beginning of the school year. So if you've taught this already, it's going to be review. If you're starting this week, you're going to be teaching it. I've added a game. Here comes a bluebird, a nice little mixer game. I often find that games are a great way to practice the children's names for me. If I don't get them when I'm doing the name game, I come back to the game and who's gonna be our bluebird? Oh, Tanisha's gonna be our bluebird. And that helps me to remember 
the names better. Here's a kid's demo if you don't know how to play this one. And we have the optional All About Me. You may or may not have photocopying budget or the time to complete this, so it's optional. And we end with the music time is over. That's grade two, week three of August. Here is grade three, week three of August. And we're doing some echo singing with Maya again. And again, it's in the key of C so that if you can, if the kids can successfully sing in the key of C and know those sulfa patterns, when they get to all are welcome, it might be possible for them to read the song. Poison rhythm is always fun. If your kids get really good at it as the year goes on, have them turn away from the screen, then they have to do it completely using the ears and it makes them really think. Here's the welcome, welcome. And if your kids are able to do the reading of the rhythms, reading of the sulfa notes, have them read it. Here's the storybook, all are welcome or jump ahead. Here's the ORF arrangement for welcome, welcome, if you haven't taught it. Here's procedures and rules. And here is a storybook, Be Kind. And again, that's something we really want kids to be kind to each other. We want teachers to be kind to each other. We want people, humans, to be kind to each other. And then we teach them the wave of kindness. If they've been to a stadium and they've seen the wave, that's what this song is all about. And it's kind of got a surf and vibe to it. It's very cute. The John Jacobson choreography would make it a nice little performance piece for your students. And I've got a game song in here. If you, if this is the third week that you've got your students and you feel they're pretty good at many of the other things, jump ahead to this game song and, and teach them this. Because this is near the end of the school year in grade two when Let Us Chase the Squirrel is introduced. It might be something that many teachers haven't done before, but it's a really fun game song. And we have a kid's demo of it with myself and the students. I took them outside. It's a really good outside game if you're able to. And if not, I just have them speed walk in the classroom, not run, but they enjoy this game a lot. A music and me booklet. They may have started it last week, get them to finish it this week and then the music time is over. So that's the third grade lessons with new game and some new options. Fourth grade, fourth grade, August week three, we are starting with the circle name game. And if this is your second week at it, have the kids say their name and then their favorite sport or their name, then their favorite animal. So I'd go, Denise, cats, Jason, dogs. So you'd go around the circle doing that. Teach or review procedures. You probably can't do this too often because students need to know. These are the things that they need to know. And if you have new kids coming in that haven't been with you before, it's going to take a while till they learn your expectations. Teacher review the music room rules. And then I have a body percussion activity this week where we have a nice track that they their own body percussion pattern with the tracks. So, I would have them make up 16 beat body percussion and have each child or groups of children, if you're brave enough to do groups this early in the year, create body percussion and then perform with the audio track. And there's enough time for probably three groups to perform. Learn about the Star Spangled Banner. So this is an interactive activity and it's got a good history. And then this is where you would sing it and do additional activities. It goes over the word meanings with the students. An optional written activity to do some of the definitions of words that are in the anthem. And then a wonderful YouTube performance by Kirk Franklin of Lift Every Voice and Sing and a worksheet on that. You may not have time for both. You may want to do one this week, one next week, and both Star Spangled Banner and Lift Every Voice and Sing will be in the last three August lessons because we have five weeks in August this year. So next week is week four and the week after will be week five. So that's grade four, August week three. Next, I'm going to 
grade five, August week three. And just to mix things up a little bit between the grades, I have the game jump in, jump out, turn yourself around. I said jump in, jump out, introduce yourself. My name's Denise. Yeah. And I like candy. Yeah. And I can dance. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. And then each child gets to introduce themselves. Here's a very nice YouTube demonstration. If you want to see it on YouTube, just go right here. Teacher review the music room rules. And at this point, if you've done this already in August week one, week two, consider transferring the body percussion to bucket drumming or to other unpitched instruments and try the music room rules that way. I have echo body percussion and create your own body percussion patterns. And then fifth and middle school are also going to do the national anthems. This may be a very quick review if your students have done it in the previous year, but I don't believe we even had this activity last year. So sing it, do activities, do definitions, listen to the song, lift every voice and sing, and then learn some of the history of it. That's fifth grade for August week three. Here is my middle school lesson for August week three. And again, I'm trying to mix up at least some of these lessons. So instead of doing name games, they will play this or that. And this is a fun way to get to know the other kids in the classes. This or that, which one's the fact? Share two things about you, we will guess what is true. So I'll say two things about myself. One, I love oysters. And number two, I love reading a lot. Oh, I didn't do that right. I love oysters and I love reading a lot. Yeah, that's the two things. So which one's the fact? I hate oysters. So that is most definitely not the fact. I do love reading. That one is the fact. I did it right. I just got myself mixed up. There's some really good teaching suggestions in that activity. Body percussion added to it. And here is the teaching process. Again, review procedures with your students or teach it if this is the first time you've seen them. Teacher review music room rules. And again, consider substituting instruments now for the body percussion. I have the same echo body percussion, but I've given three different tracks here for the middle schoolers. Put that one and this one. And this one. So all three tracks are quite enjoyable. Learn about Star Spangled Banner, sing it, hit the play button. If you want to do additional activities, click there on the arrow key and it should go to Star Spangled Banner. I will check that other one that I didn't have correct. Listen to every, Lift Every Voice and Sing. I really love the Kirk Franklin uh, YouTube video of Lift Every Voice and Sing and then a worksheet on it. If you don't have time for all of it, it's going to be repeated next week so you can finish it then. I'm Denise Gagne. Thanks for sharing Ready, Set, Plan for August week three.